Hey, what's up? It's Joel from PixelMurb.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to improve the performance of your WordPress website using a free plugin that you probably haven't heard of. Now, this is something that's important to focus on because you want your website visitors to be able to load your website as fast as possible. And also, Google treats page load time as a ranking factor for search engine optimization. So let's jump on the computer and see how we can improve the performance of our WordPress websites. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using my personal blog over here, joerivera.com. So I'm gonna grab my URL real quick. I'm gonna go over here to tools.pingdom.com. So what this website does, it analyzes your website and it lets you know the load time that uh, your website gets. And it also lets you know if there's anything you can improve upon. So what I did over here with my website, this blog here, is I deactivated any other optimization techniques that I typically use. So that way we can get an unbiased test over here. And I have another tab open with the same website so we can do a before and an after. All right, so I'm gonna paste in the URL here. I'm gonna start the test. All right, so it ran the test and it gave the website a B in terms of performance with an 85, a load time of 2.05 seconds, and it says that the website is faster than 70% of other tested websites. The page size is 2.1 megabytes, and there were 63 requests made. So you'll notice I'm using the same test server for the before and after because I want to make sure that I get unskewed and unbiased results. All right, so I'm going to go back to the website. I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm going to go to plugins and add new and in the search field I'm going to type out auto optimize and this is the plugin that we want right here as you can see it's active on over 400,000 plus WordPress installations has very good reviews and recently updated as you can see within the past two months so we'll install now what you're going to see is that this plugin it minimizes your JavaScript code your CSS and your HTML which helps to improve the bandwidth so let's activate the plugin and now if we go over here to settings, you're gonna find the auto optimize link right there. So what I recommend doing is showing the advanced settings right here. So we're gonna optimize the HTML code. We're gonna optimize our JavaScript code. We're gonna optimize our CSS code. We'll remove the Google fonts. We're not using the CDN for this. And then we're just gonna save changes and empty cache. So now we'll go back to the front of our website just to make sure everything still works. Seems like everything's working just fine. Let's just grab the URL again. And we're going to go over here into this one. And we're going to test it. Now we might have to run this test twice. Because what's going to happen here. Is it has to generate the files. So let's see what we get with the first round of tests. Alright so with the first test. We do have an improvement. So the original results were a performance grade of 85. A load time of 2.05 seconds and made it faster than 70% of all tested websites. Once we installed and activated and configured the plugin, we now have a performance grade of an 89, a load time of 1.45 seconds, and we're faster than 81% of all tested websites. So that's already right there straight off the bat, a good improvement in terms of the page load time. If we run it again, let's see what happens. All right, so it's pretty consistent. We still have an 89, 1.44 seconds, and 81% faster. Also, the page size is 1.9 megabytes with only 51 requests. So that's a good improvement from before where we had a larger page size and even more requests taking place. So that tool, Auto Optimize, without any other help from any other tools, will improve the page load time of your website. And again, this is a Google ranking factor and you want your website to load fast in the browser for your users because anything over two seconds and people will probably abandon the effort of looking at your website. They'll move on to the next one. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. This is going to be part of a larger playlist on how to improve the performance of your website, whether it's a WordPress based website or a regular website, because some of the tips and tricks that I'll teach you will be about how to minimize your code, how to use browser cache with um, some HC access code and some other tips and tricks you can use. So if you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon down below. And if you need a website, visit pixelmurb.com and I'll make sure to hook you up. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.